Good morning, GEA. This is your fabulous counselor. Welcome to day 20 of learning at home. Hopefully everybody has had a great weekend and you are ready to tackle this week. So this week we're going to be talking about feelings, about what are feelings and how we can deal with those feelings. Today, I would like for us to start with um, the feeling of sadness. I know that um, most of us have felt sad at some point in our lives. And remember guys, feeling sad is normal. It's a normal part of life as long as you don't stay sad all the time. But as long as you know some days you feel sad and then you're okay, that's normal. It's part of life. So I would like for us to talk a little bit more about how you can deal with sadness should you find yourself sad. Hopefully all of us are feeling pretty good. But if one day you feel like you are sad, then you'll know what to do. Well, the first thing that you have to do is you have to acknowledge the fact that you are sad. You have to know that I'm sad and then try to figure out why are you sad? Because once you know that you are sad and you know why, then that will help you figure out how to make yourself feel better. One of the few things that we can do is, first of all, we have to start think positive. Come up with positive ideas that will help you not feel so sad. You could think about, well, you know what? I'm feeling a little sad, but when I draw, I feel better. Then get to drawing. Or if I dance, that helps me feel better. Or if I write my feelings down, some of us like to journal, Journal your feelings and write about whatever it is that's making you sad. That might be helpful. And then sometimes it could be that you just want to play a game with one of your family members. That would be, if that's something that helps you feel better, then do that. And at times it could be that you need to find a grown-up and talk to the grown-up about how you're feeling. So that they can talk you through and maybe give you some ideas of what you can do to feel better. Because sometimes, you know, when we try to figure out these things and we still can't, it's okay to ask for help. So in this situation, if you're feeling like, well, you know, I really don't know what to do, but I've had this feeling for some time, talk to a grown up, you know, grown ups, they love to help. And if you trust them, you'll be surprised as to how helpful they might be. So we can talk about those feelings. And remember boys and girls, if one of your family members is feeling sad, it would be nice for us to make sure that we try to do the right thing and cheer them up either by playing with them, talking to them. And sometimes a nice hug makes people feel good. So that's one of the things you can do, giving your family member a good old hug. But again, remember boys and girls, it's okay to have certain feelings. It's how you deal with them. So if you need help, talk to a grown up, you'll be okay. Like I say, I know that most of you, you are doing well, but should you need to know what to do one day down the line, if you feel sad, then you know what to do. So we're all going to be good to each other so that we can all stay positive and have a good attitude and feel happy, not sad. Something to think about. This is Miss D, your fabulous counselor. Make it a great day. It's the GEA way.